Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, today I got this uh, package from Den Brass and I sent him a package and we made a trade. I sent him a package and he got it a little while ago and I just got this in the mail today. Uh, he's got a video up if you guys want to go check him out. Uh, I'll probably put a link to it in this description. But anyways, let's open this up and see what he gave me. Might take me a minute. There's lots of tape on here, so. Don't want to mess up nothing inside, so. All right, there's a lock I'm kind of expecting in here. I'll show it to you when it comes out. But nice, looks like lots of locks. That looks like it. All right, get the packing out of the way. So here we go, let's see what this is. Oh, that looks like a lock he sent me to make a challenge lock out of, must be. It's got a key, pretty cool lock. I don't know what that says on the SAA it says. Very cool, I'll make a challenge lock out of that. And let's see. Got a Yale challenge lock. Called the Golden Lock. And nice smooth key. <laughs> and some good bidding. Very good bidding. Very cool. Thank you. And got another Dan Brass Challenge Lock. And it looks like Tic Tac Toe. And it might. Looks like I might have already lost that tic-tac-toe, and I think that's probably what he means by that. <laughs> but, another good bidding. You know, Den Brass sent some good bidding, so. Very cool. And, let's see this. Um, yeah, that's a blank key, so he probably sent me this to make my own challenge lock out of. Very cool. Thank you. This one doesn't, ooh, that's smooth, smooth. And check out that bidding, some nice bidding. This one doesn't have a key tag, so that one might be another one to make a challenge lock out of. I'm not sure on that one, but it doesn't have a key tag. And looks like we got another one pinned by Bobby Keys, 12, 11, 16. Very smooth. See, I don't know which. I don't know if the key's wrong or. <laughs> Let's see. Thinking. Oh, there we go. Look at that bidding. That's a nice bidding from Bobby Keys. Very nice. Click set. And I think that's all of them. This is the lock that I wanted to show you guys. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. Got a funny key to it. So it's got a cool name. You already told me about this one. It's called the Angry Lock. Angry? It's because it's got Angry Birds key. Ho! Oh, and that is an Angry Lock, if I've ever seen one. Look at that baiting. Jeez. Gonna have to take a deep hook on that one, I'm sure. And it's a US lock. All right, so very cool package. And thank you, Dan Brass. I appreciate it for all the locks. 
And in case I fail, I'm going to pick one of these locks and see if I can't pick it on camera. But in case I fail, um, keep your pick to yourself. If you don't have consent, keep your pick to yourself and have a good one. But here we go. Let's uh, see if we can't pick this one on camera. I guess I'll go with the Yale. Go ahead and throw this up here. Make sure it's nice and tight. Zoom in a bit. That's terrible reflection, so let's try that. Uh, that one won't fit. Let's try a different tension wrench. We'll go with 40 thousandths. Yep, that one will work. And I'm going to try my gym because of that nasty bidding for sure. So let's see if we can pick this thing. Okay, got a couple clicks on. Felt like three and four. That felt like it was probably five. Okay, got to click on two. Another one on five. Counter rotation on, feels like two. It's either one or two. a funky keyway it's pretty parasentric it feels like so I felt like I got a click off a three Looks like I'm getting a little counter on four, three or four. Yeah, four. Okay, I gotta click on that four. A little click on five to you. Okay, a little click on one. Okay, felt like another little click on one. A little click on four. Okay, that was a click on five. Keep slipping off of that warding now.
trying to rest my pick on that ledge on the right, and it's not easy one to rest your pick on. Okay, I got another pick on too. Okay, got to click on five and then I got a deeper fall set. Man, this wording's kicking my butt. But. Feels like some counter on five. And there we have it. All right, nice. Very cool. All right, let's see if we can't zoom out a little bit. And let's go ahead and pull this down. Let's see if we can get this thing real fast. I know this is going to be a kind of a long video, guys, but it's worth it to be able to pick a lock out of the package, in my opinion. Oops. Man, that is on there. <laughs> Actually, we got a key, so let's lock this back up. And let's see if we can't get this off. Tell you what, that ring is on there. Now I'm shaking. There we go. Well, not quite yet, but we almost got it. That'll work. Go ahead and find our follower. That should be the right one. And where'd that key go? Somewhere in here. There it is. I better get my sham. Wow, look at them pins. Got some nice T pins in there. Looks like all chambers are threaded. And go, one's a T pin with serrated underneath. Two is serrated. Three is, looks like another T pin. Five 
is another serrated T pin, and four is a serrated key pin. Key pin, not T pin, on four. Okay, let's flip this over and get our shim out. And we'll go. Pin one is a nice spool looking pin. It's a key pin that's been flipped upside down. And a steel spring. Dang it. Then on two, another nice looking pin, key pin made into a driver. Looks like a copper spring. Three is another beautiful spool, beautiful spool, and a copper spring. Let's go from the back. And a beautifully serrated pin, and that's the same, it's a key pin made into a driver. And a copper spring. And last one, we got another beautiful looking pin made into a driver. And another steel spring, but uh, this one's a light steel spring. Let's see in there, every single chamber is threaded. And let's have a look at that key again. Beautiful lock, Dan Brass. That was beautiful. It was a nice challenge. Look at that beautiful bidding. And let me go ahead and show you these pins. These are some beautiful pins. Look at them. Look at them nice, beautiful, sharp edges. That's awesome. And looks like three T pins in the bottom and one T pin up top. But man, those are some beautiful pins. Very well done. All right, guys, thanks. If you don't have consent, keep your pick to yourself. Stay legal and have a good day. Thanks.